The store is known sometimes to just come open on its own without all the junk being packed up against it. Now my husband, when he was digging up the septic, mm -hmm. was out there and him and his brother and my son had his TV on. And they actually seen somebody in here like pacing, like an adult. And I don't remember, I think he said it was a woman, but then they actually seen it look out the window at him. Like, the door's on upside down. Like they pulled this. Is it really? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the other direction. Yeah, the long... Well, we never paid That's any why. attention. That's why. The That's lock. why, because they flipped it. <laughs> they accidentally put it on the upside down. Well, hey, I'm glad you figured that out. <laughs> now, in this room, this is where you get a lot of toy activity. This room always has that heavy feeling. Yeah, it feels really heavy. And if you... To me, if I spend too much time in here, like when I was cleaning it's Dakota's room... It's a headache. <laughs> that, and I just get this... Like an overwhelming sad. So maybe we could do a question like this. Um, if you're a little kid that likes to play with the toys in here, sometime tonight you want to throw out your favorite toy. Can you show us which one you like to play with the most? And he was downstairs, and as you've seen, there's a ceiling fan on each end of the room. So there's a ceiling fan like on underneath each of the boys' bedrooms. And he said there's all kind of noises coming out of this room, you know, out of this room, like there was kids up here playing. He said, and then it was like they were jumping, and the ceiling fan downstairs actually was shaking. This closet here is where my son claimed that this was Megan's room. Now, this used to be a bedroom, mm -hmm. so maybe it really was, I don't know. But he was actually going to the bathroom when he got hit in the forehead. Um, he's been up here, and the shower curtain, like, comes together in the middle instantly. The lights will do crazy things like one will blink um, or maybe they'll like blink almost like a running light for like a Christmas tree. You can tell them to stop and they do. It looks like this, I mean because of all the new woodwork it looks like they've started. This was one of the first places that they started. So See anything that's like as new as what this looks like right. they wanted to make everything well, brand new and like then they just the quit. kitchen downstairs they redid it but they didn't even get to the putting the trim up yeah that's what i'm saying it looks like they just quit they the started fence, this. when we looked at the place the fence it wasn't even it's still not even finished but the fence itself was actually laying down in the driveway because it wasn't attached like to the poles or nothing they sunk a ton of money and that's when we all went down and we got to the kitchen and then we heard the footsteps coming after us and it was running after us we had all kinds of lights on in this house. All, the doors was unlocked. We left. And we didn't come back till the next day. Now the boys were coming up the night that they got scared and they wouldn't, we had a hard time getting them to even come back up here. They were coming up and Hunter was walking first. He's the oldest. He had a snack cake. No, he had a plate with a pop tart on it. His youngest, or his brother was behind him and he had a snack cake. And they're coming up to watch a movie. I don't remember whose room they were. I think it was in this room. And they got almost to the top and they said something come out after them. Out of this bedroom. Now I don't know if it, like I said, if it come out after them or if it would just seem to be coming out at the same time. They, I mean this was this blood curdling scream. The plate and the pop tart passes oh, yeah. both of the kids. My youngest son gets down and his snack cake is a ball of goo where he squeezed it. And I mean, he was physically shaken. Scared to death, mommy, it's going to kill me and I don't want to die. And that made me mad. I was very, very mad then. You know, do what you want to me, but leave my kids alone. But I, like, I don't know if it meant to scare them or not. But it took... You know, I, it might. Sometimes it might be imagination. Sometimes it might not. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's know. hard to I tell with kids, but um, I mean, I, you know. Kitchen to the right. Yes. I was sitting here. My swing was right here. I was sitting on the deck. The boys had their slip and slide set up, mm -hmm. and my golden retriever. I don't hardly ever let him out of the fence because I'm afraid he'll run away. Well, I had let him out on the deck with me, and I looked over to make sure he was still laying on this rug. When I did, the man that I had seen in that window and had seen other times was standing in this doorway like this. You know you know how you'll stand against something and look? He took up the whole door. I mean, the entire door. And I seen his full body. And, but he wasn't looking at me. He was looking past me like he was looking at my kids. And he had a... Um, like a bewildered look on his face.
that I don't remember what day of the week that was, but the very next day, I was standing at the kitchen counter. I was cooking, getting ready to cook dinner, and I had cleaned off the in, the entire counter because when I clean or when I cook, you know, I want my space. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing right here, and I'm chopping up vegetables. And like I said, I had everything cleaned off, and I didn't see. Okay, I didn't see like the penny come mm -hmm. because I'm not, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm not paying attention. But this is what I heard. And I looked over in time to see it finish doing that and just land. And it landed like this far from the handle on my cutting board. I left it there. You know, I just, I didn't, I didn't really react because I didn't want to. I was home alone. Um, I have seen the man one sitting out there and all at once he was like man my stomach burns and he pulled it up and he had three crazy looking scratches on him Dang. about 20 30 minutes later they were gone mm -hmm. um just the other day i'm out there on the computer kids are out in the yard playing i can hear him he was at work and on my right shoulder it was like somebody come up and did that three times i've lived here long enough i ain't turning around to look so i just picked my our first christmas here I was in the living room putting up the Christmas tree. Me and his cousin, she was helping me. And his work had started to slow down, so he was getting off at you know different times sometimes. And we're in there putting the tree up. The boys was in the, in the living room with us. And I always put bells on that door. And I heard the bells. I heard the door open and close. You know, it's not a quiet door. And I heard a man's voice. I heard the footsteps and heard a man's voice that says, hey, I'm home. Well, I told Tracy, I'm like, ah, Steve's home early today. Well, like 20 minutes went by and Steve didn't come in the living room, which was weird. So I walked in a complete circle. No Steve. And I knew he didn't go up the stairs because you hear the stairs. But just to check, I went up the steps. Went upstairs. No Steve. I come down. I went out to the garage. Well, he wasn't even home from work yet. So I don't know. That was before any. And like I said, our first summer here, my dog Archie was horrible. It would be nothing in the middle of the night, and he's not an aggressive dog. He doesn't growl a lot. It would be nothing for, in the middle of the night, to just hear him going off barking and snarling and his hair standing up, and he'd either be, like, down here looking up the stairs, or he would be at the top of the stairs looking down. I thought he was just, like, freaking out for a while, you know, from the move, so I, would like, took shoes up to bed with me and would throw them at him at night to get him to shut up, and then I started figuring things out. Our cousin Joey has was going to come upstairs one night to go to the bathroom when he was in bed and seen the man standing in front of our... See, I just heard the footsteps on the, on the steps, but I thought it was because we walked past. No. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make the stairs creak. No, it doesn't. But something stepped up. I mean, I heard it. You have to be on them to make them make noise. Yeah. Be very, very careful. Yeah, these. It is old and nasty down here. These are steep steps. Now that uh, down here, a lot of things happen. With right here along this wall, we've got multiple times been able to get the K2 meter going crazy. Yeah. Uh, we've had the cups on the T set. The spoon's been. Placed in different colored ones. We've had all oh, the they've they've switched. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I get it all on the way they are now. Yeah, I took pictures of them and came back the next day. The handles be turned towards each other, point in. Yes. If you want to mess around with them, we'd like to see you move something or change it up a little bit. Whatever you want to do. There's been a lot of noises down here. A lot of stuff like. Uh, like that tank, that fuel oil tank over there, when it's something hits that, and it goes, boom. I hate it when it Never does seen that. A fuel tank it. So it sounds like somebody's actually throwing something down here against it. It, it, feel, it sounds like somebody walks up and does this shit. Yeah, and it's, it's <laughs> not going to just do that either. Yeah.